daughter is a Star Wars serious person. She, I, I really think she would be, of, of the first three, she's seen each one 300 times. We need to have quiet back in the other room, too. The auteur theory of film actually is very true if you know directors, uh, because they are very much like their movies. Uh, and in the case of somebody who writes and directs, you know, it is my life. I mean, everything I write is my life. I'm not writing some sort of hypothetical thesis on something. I'm writing a story that I have to get extremely emotional involved in because it's going to take two or three years of my life to do it. So I can't just sort of say, oh, this will be fun and knock it off in a week. I have to, this is like a marriage. This goes on. You have to be in love with this thing for at least four or five years and probably for the rest of your life. I would say, in the end, that this is set. Yeah, we've got one little piece of wool. Yes. Oh, yeah. two pieces of wool, maybe. Yes. And then this is a, you guys. Mm -hmm. This is real. Mm -hmm. and, and this is real. Real, real. Not so real. Not so real. Not so real. Real. This is going to be tricky. Real, not surreal. Real, not surreal. Do this stuff like crazy. Oh. <laughs> oh! I was feeling so good about my ability to do that, and I screwed it up. I know this is gonna work. I know it's gonna work because it's impossible. You know, we're pushing the envelope in a few places, but the biggest issue is volume. Yeah, it was just the amount of stuff. Yes. And of course, that's the part that creates the the world. Jar Jar is a key to all this. If we get Jar Jar working, because he's a funnier character than we've ever had in any of the movies before. Well, the thing that, that's really big here is, is uh, in the um, in the big uh, grass planet battle there, and the yeah. zillions of creatures. Now we we don't have a real good way of doing that right now. So, <laughs> uh, but that's, so but that's where some real innovation. Yeah, I know, but that, that is the challenge. Though. Exactly. Think, that's that's the we, set piece. Yeah. yeah. The, the whole thing is that how are you going to top the pod race? Mm. Yeah. yeah, because it's pretty intense. I'll be exhausted by the time in the in the pod race. I'll be ready to go home. But the thing is that we can top the pod race with this incredible Jedi battle that we've always heard about in the last three movies, but never really yeah. got to see. Mm -hmm. And then that with Anakin. You know, kind of duplicating the Luke Skywalker role, but you see the echo of where it all is going to go. And instead of destroying the Death Star, he destroys the ship that controls the robots. Again, it's like poetry, it's sort of they rhyme. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every stanza kind of rhymes with the last one. Hopefully it'll work. Watch your fingers. Or oh, you'll become permanently part of the model. That ought to do it. So if you can do the other one just like that, and then um, paint this, and then just glue them right there. Glue right down. Yeah. And I'll okay. take them, just like that. I can't show you the backpack right now. It doesn't, it'll be something like that. And that looks pretty good. Right now we got a uh, actual leg, got a thigh, a calf, and a foot getting ready to go to England. I went through with Jeff the pod race, so they're going to start, Joe and he are going to really do a serious breakdown on because um, I know George won't let the pop race out yet, but they'll start working on dust, mm -hmm. movement, speed, blurring. Are you going to Spain tomorrow? No, I, gotta, I go to New York tomorrow. Oh. I'm going to fly to New York and then show Natalie the script. Everything's set, but, you know, it's a bold idea to have an actress commit to three movies without reading a single line of dialogue, <laughs> so I thought we'd be better. She'd be a lot happier if she knew yeah. and saved her. <laughs> Anakin is a little boy who lives with his mother. Good um, morning. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. All right. This is Natalie, who is otherwise known as Padme. We were just discussing where we were in the scene. In a little shop that sells used spaceship parts. All right, Michael. Hmm? Your first stop. You. Never met each other, so this is the first okay. first time you've ever said anything to each other. 
me know when it's good for you, David. All right, roll pitcher and sound. Speed. Okay. Action. Are you an angel? What? An angel. I've heard the deep space pilots talk about them. They live on the moons by eco, I think. They're the most beautiful creatures in the universe. Are you an angel? What? An angel. I've heard the deep space pilots talk about them. They live on the moons of Iago, I think. Scene one, take one. And action. Are you an angel? What? An angel. They're the most beautiful creatures in the universe. They're so good and kind. They make even the most hardened space spice pirates talk. cry. Never heard of angels before. Scene one, take two. Are you an angel? What? An angel. Never heard of angels before. You must be one. Maybe you just don't know it. Scene one, take three. You can see the difference between the two kids. Yeah. Yeah. One is going to move the production along a lot faster. Yeah. Right. So many and the other one, I have to just There's so many do a zillion takes and cut the performance. But the performance sort of Don't rises say. way above. Yeah. 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 The other one does. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because it's so unpredictable and it's kind you of have to go. Yeah. unstudied. Well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Will I ever see you again? Okay. Thank you. Thanks for bringing me that. I hope so. Would you choose? Jake. Because <laughs> he seems more natural. I, mean, I like his body language. Mm -hmm. It's just not trained. I and mean, this one just hits the beats. Yeah, I was going to say, some people audition real well. Okay, I'm looking around, looking around, and charge. Look at our camera. Look, see if you can sort of look behind you as he goes. That's good. That's a good turn. Okay. Ride, ride, and look behind him. Look forward. Make those quick moves. You look back. And forward, yeah, that's better. Okay. More abrupt. Okay, that's good. He's getting kind of quick at this. And yes, he's he been is. practicing. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, You're wow. Your side, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. We're very proud of you, Jake. And very handwriting, proud. too. Very so, good, Jake. Um, what's it been like? You've been telling all your friends you're leaving for Star Wars, huh? Um, the only thing I said was, um, I'm going away for the summer to film Star Wars. And then all these hands raised up for questions. So what kind of questions did they ask you? Oh, so how come it takes two years to film? Because they didn't hear me two right years. that I'm only taking three, three and a half months. Did you tell them why it's going to take so long for it to come out? With the special effects yeah. and stuff? Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. It was going to take them because of the special effects. Do you know how much yeah. money they're going to spend to make this movie? I'm Probably over fifty thousand dollars. They're definitely, definitely going to spend fifty thousand dollars. Camera, okay. Look at Tim. Here we go. Yeah. Wow. You got it. Oh, you got it. Perfect. I'm cool. Basically what we've done is we've taken over the Rolls-Royce factory, uh, which has about 850,000 square feet, and we converted it into stage space. Right now we have 600 people working for us. Uh, we're building sets on three shifts, 24 hours a day. Amazing right here. It's just one of our battle droids, actually. Battle oh, that, Look at this. Oh, this, is, cool. this is the new stormtrooper. Oh, this man. is our new stormtrooper. But in a way, he's, he's the old model, replaced by Star Wars being the new stormtrooper. Yeah, because what you don't realize is that these guys really are not very efficient. They, uh, yeah. these things, you know, Jedi cut them down like they're butter, and they really are pretty useless. Yeah, pretty useless. Really, the old dangle weed here. Yeah. So. Uh, no, that's the scan. Oh, sorry. You know, these dro droids, they can't get the physiology right. There we go. Oh. And so what happens in the end is they all join forces and everything, and the Goongas 
battle of the droids is this huge kind of war and peace battle. Uh-huh. Like, literally war and peace. I mean, right. It's huge. You know, 10,000 troops on either side. On both side. sides coming at each yeah, other. Coming at each other. That's great. It's going to be great. That's going to be great. It's going to be great. That's going to be great. The way I work is uh, the first thing I'll do is I'll go and I'll shoot a wide shot. I'll just set the camera up in the corner. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to relentlessly go down and lay out the storyboards or everything exactly what's going to happen because I, I want to, on the day, when I see that wide shot play itself out in the set. I take it yeah. you say action after we roll camera? I'll say action. You don't. No, not some, like some, sometimes some, I something forget. Something people forget. <laughs> if I forget to say action or cut, just step in and say action and cut. I manage action and cut and faster and more intense. And then uh, most I sit there looking miserable and quiet. <laughs> Is this him? Yeah, he's looking a bit lame at the moment. It's polyphone. It'll be slightly warm inside that, isn't it? Mm, a bit moist. It feels disgusting. What is that material? Silicon. Silicon? Yeah. It's a Cinderella moment. It fits. I shall marry the prince. Right, does that feel painful anyway? Uh, More painful than normal. Uh, Let's try and do this. This might not work. Okay. Right, so it might dig in as well. Okay. Okay, close. Open, close. Now, if you open your mouth, as if you're doing exaggerated dialogue, does it work? Exaggerated dialogue. Oh, yes. It kind of moves. Yeah. Some people pay huge amounts of money to have a woman put them in this kind of thing. Yeah, well, not me, sadly. And then tell them what to do. Okay, try again. Big mouth. Exaggerated dialogue. Um, how are we going to start? What are we going to do? If I put my producer hat on, then it's purely... I don't care how we get this done. I don't care who pays for it. i got to somehow get my movie made. But our budget is $50 million. That's how much money we have. You know, it's... Well, well George, you know, the, the sentiments that, that you express, uh, I am not <laughs> sympathetic with. I think you can agree that we're not really fat on how much time goes into animating a particular thing or building a particular creature or environment. So Judith and I looked at every single pod ray shot. We, we had the, I think we had the 14-minute version of it. Um, and we identified the environments that we would apply to do EV Crater, we've got 19,000 to create that environment. But I mean, there's $600,000 worth of pods. Mm-hmm. Then, then you actually have to do the shots. Which right. are 16 million, right? So and you where want... is the thing that breaks down how much it took costs per shot per to fly a pod? pod? Hi, Steve. My name is Rick McCallum. I'm the producer of Star Wars. Do you know where I can reach you in now? And we're making some very aggressive, uh, take some very aggressive positions on, okay, well, we're just gonna have to be able to animate the full face on Jar Jar in two weeks. Brilliant. All right, my dear. Take care. Bye. Fantastic. All right, he's gonna call any minute. You just put me through into this meeting? Okay. You know, Austin, I, I have I have uh, a reputation as a troublemaker back at ILM, always being... Thank God you the... do. <laughs> That's why you're here. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so, listen, I'm, I'm doing my damnedest to figure out, well, how do we even do a shot like this? And, and uh, okay, well, these are the techniques I think are going to be the most bang for the buck, and, geez, well, we're gonna have, you just have to be able to animate that in two weeks. And the real point is, is how can we manage to change the operating procedures in a way that we can completely revolutionize the way we make movies so that this is all doable? Because it's not just, it's not just that we have to do it for this picture, we have to do it for two more pictures. And also, if this picture works, then everybody also want it done for their picture. Mm-hmm. And what are we going to do? You know, I mean, nobody can afford to do it at these prices, so. Hello? Dude, I'm so f***ing happy. This is just, it's brilliant. It's so, I'm so happy. George is so happy. It's just, it's just fantastic. Uh, it's, listen, I had, uh, I saw Liam on Sunday in Prague and, and I told him we were getting closer and closer and he was so thrilled. I mean, really, really happy. We all are.
It's going to be fantastic. I mean, it's going to be a great movie. It's going to be a lot of fun. But it's also, I think, going to be so worthwhile. This is my daughter, <laughs> How are you? Katie. Hello, Katie. That's my son, Jet. Hi, Jet. How are you? This is Janie. Hi. Hi. How are you? All right. And your name? Ewan. 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 Who are you going to be in the movie? Are you uh, the young Obi Wan, I think. Yeah. I hope. You know what we're going to do? Yeah. We're going to buzz his hair just like yours. Are we ready? <laughs> Are we ready? <laughs> Are we sure that this isn't a terrible mistake? Are you scared to death? Oh, no, I'm really looking forward to it. I love what it. What if my dad this is the biggest one? This is the highest one. Okay. If he decides he wants it longer, then he can wear the wig. Okay. <laughs> and play the part. It's oh, thick, see, yeah. Scottish hair. It really grows in really thick and tight. Oh, okay. Thickest hair in the world. Highlanders. Like that it's nice that it stands up. Actually. Yeah. But it shouldn't look like he has been to a barber shop at all. The most difficult part is to not go too far, just go strange enough. Yeah. That's the biggest trap people fall into in these kinds of movies is they just they go too far. Yeah. How about that much? That's fine. Well, don't get any more though, Katie. Is it just be, will it just be braided at the top part? I sort of think it's better if it's braided all the way down. In essence, it's a symbol of a learner. Mm -hmm. It's got to have, you know, when we wrap the bottom of it, if, if we do wrap it, we could wrap it actually in little colored threads. It's got to, there's got to be some significance in maybe that wrapping of how many years you've, where you are in the right, training so, process. Yeah. Well, as a rough start, I think that's a good length. Right. I do think we should rehearse some sword fighting and stuff with and see what happens, how, how far they, we don't want them to get in the way. Nice, huh? My name is Ahmed. I play Jar Jar. Judy's going to be dressing you. Ah. He's going to be. <laughs> We're pursuing the idea of uh, doing the Jar Jar body on the set and the head in the digital. Depends on how they do that suit. You want to walk through this? Sure. Here is the sad news. Well, but interesting news. At, at first glance, we might think there's a large chunk to be saved from um, Jar Jar in a suit, but looking at all the shots that he's in, mm -hmm. um, which is 461, the difference of the approach we would take without a suit mm -hmm. versus doing a suit is about a million three. Well, a million yeah. saved is a million yeah. earned. Are the ears going to be on that too? This no. is going to be they don't want to use. Okay. Oh, man, it's going to be put through a whole series of movements. Oh, okay. Yes, I mean the works, so that they have everything they can possibly try to track. So if the suit gets damaged, don't worry about it. Hello, do you know if you've got this? The guy we got has got a great walk and everything, and when he translated into Jar Jar, it was great. The thing is, though, one of the things that could make this thing the most special thing in the world is that it is a pure CG character. Yeah. But what we're trying to do in the end is no, speed up the animation. Guy. We have the guy anyway. Yeah. We're shooting the guy anyway. So if you have the guy in the suit, it costs you the aggravation of how does he stand it in the suit, the wear and tear in the suit, does it look good? Him getting it out of the suit. It, it, yeah, no, I know, but yeah. at the end, that's all that stuff. But what you gain is that there are moments where he interacts with humans and everything, which cut well, costs very was... fast. One of the purposes of this, well, the purpose of this test is to see what the head attachment is really going to be like. And it's been brought up as a concern that we may need to have some additional tracking marks further out because we have to match the shoulders as well to actually do that blend. So that as there's some shoulder movement, we need to be replicating that so that our blend actually blends. So the important thing to get data on is, is around the neckline and uh, potentially around the shoulders too. And when you walk, because now we're going to be in a wide figure, Again, you know, the, the sort of loose arms that kind of don't have much in them. You know. John, that was just going to Yeah, that's, we're just yeah. trying to take care of uh, this right. one. Uh, Turn over, please. And speed in. And plot down. Yeah, look around, kind of. Okay, now look at the camera, and you see something. Oh, my gosh. Okay. But looks good, actually. Yeah, it's pretty you amazing, sort of, actually. You sort of uh, imagine filling you know, sort in the space. Yeah, you sort of fill in the space and sort of look at it without your glasses. It looks pretty good.
Skywalkers was kind of yeah, blue. but it's just off blue. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a look in here. Oh, you bastard! <laughs> <laughs> There's something to show you. Which one's this? So one? these look. See, that's the one I've been finding. <laughs> Is that the one you like? Not too bad. I've been waiting for this for weeks. I've been thinking every morning. I say, I wonder if it's today I'll get to choose. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's nice because it does does hurt your hands. <laughs> I mean, that might be a good one for Liam, because he's tall. You like the black? I can tell you like the black. Yeah, There's something nice about that. Yeah, it is quite stylish. Let's yeah. shut up. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favourite one. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. I thought you might pick that one. Yeah. Well, that's it. its favourite for a hanging, and that's the, what we're fighting with, isn't it? I know, we're fighting no. with that, and oh, it's okay. this, but... But you never see that. And also, in terms of length, which is important also, isn't it? Although the popular belief is that length doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> it does. But that's all right. Yeah. How's it with a little 12, though? Clear the area so you don't do anything. Yeah, clear yeah. the area. That's all right. Yeah. It catches a light. It's got like little yeah. buttons on it. Should have that one, yeah. That's the one, isn't it? I think that's my one. I think that is. It's nice, though. Hey. Hey. <laughs> this is about Darth Vader when he's a young boy. Yeah, this is when he's a good boy. And then what happens to him? He joins the film business. <laughs> this is it. This is it. The beginning. I can't believe it. And after this meeting, I'll finish reading. I'll finish writing the script. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start with me. I'm Rick. I'm the producer. Hi, Rick. <laughs> I'm George. I'm responsible for all of this. <laughs> I'm Natalie, and I'm playing Amidala. I'm Pranilla. I'm playing Shmi or Shmai. Have we decided? I'm, I'm Jake, and I'm playing Anakin Skywalker. Mom, I'm home. Yes, of course. Oh, my. Annie, what's this? These are all my friends, Mom. This is Jar Jar Binks. And our droid R2-D2. An extremely well put together little droid. Without a doubt, it saved the ship as well as our lives. Master Yoda said I should be mindful of the future. But not at the expense of the moment. Be mindful of the living force, my young Padawan. Yes, my master. These junk dealers must have a weakness of some kind. Gambling. Everything here revolves around betting on those awful races. Promise me you'll train the boy. He is the chosen one. Yes, master. Always two there are. No more, no less. A master and an apprentice. But which one was destroyed? The master or the apprentice? This is roll 1B, backup dat tape of Star Wars The Beginning. Um, this is an HHB port dat, DT 1000, uh, 48 kilohertz, camera running 24 frames a second. Well, oh. All right, we're going to get that shot ready now. So you don't need to be standing around on the platform. Move off. Thank you. I mean, what okay. good reset. Good. Good morning. How are you? Good, good today. Quiet on stage. 
Turn over. Speed. Good luck, everybody. Now let's kick ass. 77, take one. And action. Everything is going as planned. The Republic will soon be in my control. Ready and action. It's an all pretty art to mine. Don't look at me. I don't know. Please still at this area here, please. And save that little bit of direct light for when he goes forward. Yeah, so he, you know, we'll do it so when he comes into here to kind of do her, he'll be able to catch. He won't come that close to her. Your Majesty, there is little chance the Senate will act on the invasion. Chancellor Valorum seems to think there is hope. Uh, if I may say so, Your Majesty, the Chancellor has little real power. He has been mired by baseless accusations of corruption. Okay, cut. That's a wrap, thanks very much. First shot tomorrow looks towards the desk area, so props would actually appreciate if you had to dress the table. Tonight. Thank you. Yeah, you were terrific. Open the doors a minute, please. I'll uh, see everybody tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Good night. Good night, guys. Thanks Good night. very much. Good night. Good night. Right. We're going to leave the Panaka one until the end of the day. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping I can really cut through this scene. She's great. She's, She's Natalie great. is fantastic. And I mean, Ian. she just, it all came together. She was perfect, you know. I only had to do two takes. She really had it down. She was great. Just great. And Ian, I I'm thought very was excited. Lovely. Well, Ian's always yeah, great. Yeah. I mean, he's he's reliable. And, but I did I had no idea what was going to happen with her. So what we're doing now is you on this level. Right, oh, yeah. no, have I just grabbed you onto grabbed it? You grabbed onto it. Oh, right. So you, you hit, you, you fell off there, hit that, rolled over and managed to hold onto it, pull yourself back onto that level and look as though you're about to do a Superman from there to here. Good. What we're trying to find out is the best way to have you actually bounce yourself onto there in a graceful Jedi-like move. Yeah. 66 Echo, take one A and B cameras. Come on, Mark. Cut. Cut it. The problem with doing it that way, guys, is you can actually see that he bounces on something. Okay. Um, I mean, they bounce. You can't avoid the bounce, can we? No. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, so like a plank. It's a scaffold plank. We'll, we'll push you. Get your feet on there, now. Here we go. 166 Echo, take 5 AMB cameras. Come on, Mark. And action. 3, 2, 1, go. Take more time with that elbow. Oh. Yeah, don't make yourself close. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, good. Nice that one, there. Squad, please. That's good, Star Wars, they said I said two fucking right. <laughs> <laughs> right on set. Maybe I could do that on camera. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Turn over. 76 Baker, take two AMB cameras. And action. I think you have. Why else would you be here? I can see there's no fooling you, Anakin. You mustn't let anyone know we're here. We're on our way to Coruscant, the central system in the Republic, on a very important mission, and it must be kept secret. 
Peruska? Cut, let's try it again. Ace That's is okay. up, please. Well, there's some pieces yeah. in there. Print that one. <laughs> okay, why don't we try one without you even dealing with your food so you just can focus on your wine. Okay. <laughs> you know? No, it's not the food that's a problem. It's me always, I, I'm used to saying Kuruskin. All right. Not Kuruskin. Kuruskin. If you, if you mispronounce it, it's okay. No, everybody will start laughing. No, no, no. Nobody's no. Nobody's no. Get towards the edge on that line. And it's hard to know exactly what's going to, where it's going to trip itself up in a funny kind of way. Because in some stuff, I feel like that emotional scene with his mother, he was like right on the button every single time he did it. You don't quite know what you're going to get, and it's different every time, and sometimes it's really special, so you don't want to grind it into the ground. Okay, Jane, take your position, please. Jam I. Put his air back in, please. Whoa, 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 what are you doing there? Yeah. Can you talk without moving your mouth too much? Or just so you keep the jaw closed. Try it now. Uh, okay. We are increasing security on all Nabu de detention camps. Fine, try that. It looks okay to me. Okay, first position. Prima posizione si gira, grazie. Okay. It is locked off. Thank you. Stand by. I feel there's more to this, my master. Two Jedi may be using the Queen for their own purposes. The main things here are we have the, uh, the walking hologram generator, which will be added in computer graphics, but it's in front of everybody who's walking. Um, we have a map painting of uh, Theed City to put back there, and the light fixtures on the wall in the hallway uh, are uh, not what George wants, so we're going to replace them with something else. Uh, when the camera pans over to look out this archway, we want to have filled that archway full of tanks and, uh, and battle droids. So, it's a relatively straightforward shot. They said it gets hotter than that. Yeah. This is suicide fortnight, unless you've heard. How are you doing? I'm cool, for now. Just waiting for it to get hot. I was about to give them shoe. My the trick part of that has got to be the most difficult one. He won't be here, and neither will Sebulba. We must spend the night just with them. Yeah, well. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I think you're getting smaller. Don't forget to show them show them and show to the marijuana. Ready? I'm ready. I'm born. Okay. Turn over. 26 George, say to a camera. Hey, you! That'll be seven druggets. Well, I'd say cut. Cut. <laughs> cut. George. Yeah. It's only that whip pan, and I guess if you saw him there, then you wouldn't believe he would have gone for the fog. So I would say no vendor, right? So I would say no vendor. We're going to widen up a little bit, but I still don't think you'll see it. No vendor. Pas de vendor. How are you doing? I'm hot. I can imagine. But I'm hot too. But I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could say the same. <laughs> <laughs> I do okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> so hot. My mother's in New York, she feels it. <clears throat> Especially when it's like this, you mustn't take the fun out of it. The only thing we're all suffering here is actually, is the heat. And there's a lot of people who pay to come to this sort of temperature and have a holiday, so... If you can just uh, get people to think that uh, this is a temporary break in their holiday for 10 hours or 12 hours, then 
They'll have a good time. Incredible. It's like four months work. I mean, the main thing here is not to have panic and everybody just to be running all over the place. I think we have to head up little teams of people and work methodically through it. Otherwise, it'll be mm. chaos and people will be just ripping things up. This is grim. This is seriously grim. But not unfavorably doable. I think this is going to take all your skills. This is what digital technology is for. It's a tool. There it is. Just, wow, look at that. I know, uh, that one's uh... Jesus. The engine sets, look at that. This is fucking grim. Yeah. We have Anakin. These are his engines, which play the most crucial part in the movie. Right. They're split in two, which um, doesn't look good. And then this is the, the scumbag of the universe, and his engines are completely f***ed. Yeah, it's this is heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking. Thank yeah, God this beauty's OK, though. Okay, that's That's amazing so, that um, that one is the only one that really survived. Yeah. yeah. It's the force. And, uh, <laughs> again, Rich. The pods are really f badly, so we're going to have to really uh, work hard to get those. I think that's going to have to push that right down to the end of the schedule over. Uh, 10-4. And any news on Liam's wig? Is that all taking place? Can we win on this one? Over. Yeah, Rick, they're trying to clean it up here on the location. But um, at the moment, we still haven't tracked down Liam's beard. Check Algeria over. It's more for cast than anybody else. Yeah. We have a charter plane, and we are leaving. Yeah. And that fucking charter plane. Yeah. Nothing's yeah. going to stop us. If we have to work on our rest day, we're going to have to work on the yeah. rest day. Because I don't want them on any level tipping out on us. Because of all the chaos and everything, we got off to a late start. Hopefully, we'll get this next sequence finished, and then we're only about one shot behind. And then we have to rearrange the schedule. But uh, I think we'll go through this all right. Exact same thing happened in Star Wars. It's always something. Uh, ready, buddy? Thank you. Okay. Here we go. Thanks, Fred. And turn over, please. Turning over. Speed. 26, George, say to A camera. B camera. And action. action. OK, you're coming up on Sebulba. Sebulba's ahead of you there. You see him, he's manoeuvring, he's flaming somebody, he's exploded somebody in front of you. You're coming along beside him, Jake. He's on your left now. Look at him. You're going to beat him, Jake. But he's not going to play fair. He's going to bomb you. Bump! Okay, Jake Lloyd is finished. Thank you, Jake. It's been a few months. We'll come back. We'll have some more fun. Yeah, okay. You look out yourself, Jake. The Jar Jar test. We, we shot Ahmed doing a little action here so we could test uh, how well the head replacement thing would work. Here are two different approaches. 
Bottom, of course, is head replacement. Top is a fully animated figure. As it turns out, the fully animated one was actually about half the man hours of the head replacement. Oh, so we spent $100,000 on that suit that we didn't need to spend. Well, but the suit is actually extremely useful for, uh, you know, all the time while they were working on that, we were looking at, okay, we've got to get the shadow to match the, the, this one better, and, and this was actually really great lighting and performance preference back at ILM. We do have a lot of people there who are available and ready to do shots. I'd like to get started, even if there's a good chance that some of those shots are going to change. Uh, still, I think we'll have learned something. It's the last day of principal photography. One, two. <laughs> I think you're supposed to be more profile looking that way. You're going to okay, go off go. that way. The ship's oh, landing. We're not framed up at the moment. No, we're coming down there. Like okay. no All right, let's get ready to shoot this, please. Sort of an odd bit as well, Jerome. Oh, paparazzi. Oh, my God. <laughs> we'll get John started off. There'll be a camera, and it'll come across an action when we're up on Silas for watching his first line. Unbelievable, isn't it? 13 weeks later, with all the prep, shooting, and the post production will be almost uh, four years in the making. The first two stages have gone remarkably well. It's just whether or not this third one, the most difficult one. But I think everybody's in, in the right frame of mind. Ready to shoot. Stand by to shoot, please. Uh, yeah. Speed. 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 camera common marker. Impossible. Nothing can get through us to you. Cut. That's the end. Thank you very much. Yay. The end of the beginning. Yeah, a lot of these uh, diagonals are really helping. Yeah, and I put like a little uh, yeah, that flatter area in there that, that helps a lot. Come down. So, how many of these like backgrounds are there? Like, are there like? Well. A million of them, or...? <laughs> I mean, we're going to all the trouble of making this uh, completely computer-generated environment for hundreds of shots. Okay. Like, well, it should be something that we can't see in the real world. Don't be afraid to, uh, to push it a bit. Okay. And technically, there are a, quite a number of things that have never been attempted before. Uh, things that, that uh, were just not possible, still aren't possible, we're still working on them. Will there be any really heavy stuff in this? Really loud stuff? Yeah, probably, yes. Okay. I, I, yeah. Yeah, yeah so. it should be loud. Yogoto Banta Pudu. But you could put a little laugh on the end of that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Let's be 309, 310, take two. Yogoto Banta Pudu. <laughs> All right, that was good. We'll try one more with a little bit more, a little bit more anger. Yo, Koto Banta Pudo. Yeah. <laughs> SB 309, 310, take three. Yo, Koto Banta Pudo. <laughs> okay, that's good for me. Okay. That looks good. Okay. I think we can push it a little further. And yeah, I think that's it for me. So this is uh, for the first view of these droids getting hit. Now we were wondering on this shot, this is incomplete. This does not have lasers and stuff in it yet. The catapult balls that got thrown. Yeah. So thinking, like what do they do when they hit the ground? I think they should be like a big water balloon. They just sort of splatter when they hit. Are they going to leave a trail behind them then of glowing? Yeah, leave the, leave, let the thing splat when it hits like a water balloon, but then the pieces of it continue to go forward like it does here and knock people over and, and uh, you know, a big glob of it. Okay. It's like, uh, it's like Vaseline in the water balloon. One of the things that we wanted to discuss, this is the animag for this sequence, and we've started blocking in the actual footage now. So just to revisit what this action currently is. The question is, like, this hallway shot here primarily, and just the hallways in general, just making sure that those are working for you. Yeah, that looks good. All right, great. So this one was my selection. Yeah. Now, I didn't know if you wanted to make this 
shot longer to accept that, that select of yours. Well, do we have a tighter select? Uh, it's funny enough, that's tighter already. I'll, I'll look at some yeah, other alternatives. Why don't, we, why don't we try to take the uh oh for this and the big boomers from the other one? Okay. I think it's going to be better. I agree. Well, let me see that Padaka scene, the one where everybody's sitting well, down. I had an idea how we do it, but it's turned out to be a little more difficult than I thought, but I'll show you where it's going. What's the last of it? That's going to be tricky. Maybe we can create a shot. So what I want to do is... Well, let's just... We'll leave this for the time being, and we'll create this other shot, and then if this other shot works, We'll come back to this shot, take Panaka, slip him out of sync so he doesn't start to move. So he's just standing there. Okay? okay. So, <laughs> see, Panaka's starting to move in this shot. Mm -hmm. So we split him out and start him here. We'll split him right mm -hmm. in front of the pilot. There, just uh, go forward. Come on. What's the left side? Yeah. I want to get just the What's tail the of it. Obi Wan sitting down. You're resyncing both flanking actors. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is cyber directing, <laughs> right? Yeah. 3D it's, editing. Yeah. There's not enough power to get us to Coruscant. The hyperdrive is leaking. We'll have to land somewhere and refuel and repair the ship. Yeah, master. All right, that's better. We got our pace picked up a little bit here. I think I may go and finish it off with Martin. Then I'll come back and we'll do the sword fight. Sword fight. Okay. Place right after one? Yeah, yeah, I'd say two o'clock. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll be back in a couple hours. Okay. Well, maybe you got what you wanted there. You got the you got the George. I'm directing here in the editing room sequence, which is what he loves to do, which is change the actors' performances. You know, we've gotten into that. It's gotten into what is the last two weeks a habit of not taking anything for granted. If we can split one actor from one take uh, and put him, you know, resync him with everybody else, we're doing lots of that. Uh, that's to me. I mean, it's fantastic you can do that, but it's opening up a whole world of, you know, I mean, that just multiplies the number of decisions that you can make in a cut. Normally you reject whole shots because one thing is wrong, but now you can keep the good things in that shot and just throw away the bad. <laughs> Sing, oh, which, uh, how's the people to pay for all of this? I like what you're doing in your face, definitely. You got the personality in there and the blinks and... There's something. Right now, what I was we discussed, discussed before is really he's happy. He thinks mm -hmm. he's got this guy and he's going to nail him for the full price. It would be cheap, what I think, huh? <laughs> uh, so this is where he's like, so, you're going to give me the big pile of money. Mm -hmm. uh, so when he says, uh, so how are you going to pay for all this? I think we can even bring him up. Uh, a little closer to camera, just float him a little bit more, okay. so we get him a little bit, and he's all smiles. Public credits? The public credits are no good out here. I need something more real. I don't have it. Tim's is looking great. So yeah, I can see you worked on the lip sync? Yeah, I worked on the lip sync. But this, the stain in his face is really great. Yeah, I was, I was thinking maybe I could uh, scrunch it up a little more, like he's, he's kind of like... Yeah. Republic, Republic, Republic credit? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I yeah, I think you could afford to do that. Okay. I said he's short, but he sure can't act. <laughs> okay. Do you want Kathy's in or? Yeah, Kathy, I want to. George, the beginning and the end of this is broad. Yeah. Okay, so some, I'm, not, I'm going blind, so you know, some of this. Confer on you the level of Jedi Knight the Council does. But agree with your taking this boy as your Padawan learner, I do not. Qui Gon believed in him. I believe in Qui Gon. Now, let's just change it. Let's go in the hands. <clears throat> yeah. I, acting wise, I'm not showing you. Acting wise, I'm saving. But now what I'll do is I'll show you the center of it, the, begin the middle of it. Oh, that's great. Yeah. 
That's, that's great, George. Things are definitely changing. You don't need me, for God's sake. We'll always need you. <laughs> that's great. That's going to look great. <laughs> Damn I. Qui-Gon's defiance, I sense in you. Need that, you do not. Agree with you, the Council does. Your apprentice, young Skywalker, will be. Yeah, there's going to be an enormous return. Uh, I think an enormous amount of people going back, because it's not like you see the film and you know the plot. Yeah, there's no way to know what's going to happen. You know, we're never going to be Titanic. Nobody can. I don't think that's... Can you explain that? Nobody can. I, it's one of those things. It just happens. It's like what Star Wars did when it first did it. It just it defies reality. You, you just never know on these things. I did a more American graffiti. It made 10 cents. Really? Just failed miserably. Yeah. You can. You can do it. You can destroy these things, you know. It's, it is possible. Um, we have about 350 finished shots now. We're uh, close to a third John. through the work. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's Anakin's head and his uh, shoulders. Yeah. All in here. Right. Such a bad okay, storyboard. So that's, yeah. All right. So that's that's the head right there. Yeah. So um, I'll just go through the schedule. Thirteen has been bumped to <coughs> do next week. Nine twenty-five. Dev two ninety. Do 10, All those front views. Uh, what George's comment the other day was that whenever we cut to Anakin, like you know, in these, oh, these yeah, close-up shots, tight, tight. you know, yeah, it's it's like like this on him, and uh, it's involved. It's always going back to a wide shot. TTDB, I have scheduled starting 9:28, going high res 10 to do 10 nine. This is one that was supposed to be uh, for the 10-2. Uh, the So I'm gonna try and push that forward. Well. I don't think we can get it by 10 2 because uh, I think we're ready to do the Queen ship and all its landing gears without any uh, reference to the model. Okay. Because when so. the model's not built until. Until second week in October. Right. So, John, we really need to know yeah. whether you have everything you need or whether you need more. Mm -hmm. The comp is getting you know more and more complete, and yet there were no creatures in there, so yeah. I just don't want to be surprised <laughs> when. We need to, what I'm most concerned about is the screen left side of the right. image, whether you need some creatures back there that we haven't yeah. provided to you. AHA 341A. Yeah, we're gonna get Jar Jar all done real soon now. Mm -hmm. so. Supposed to be a little tight. Well, what's that? Can we okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Check that. Looks good. All right, you're suited up. Ready? Go for it. Okay, everyone, let's start with a brief warm up. We're gonna start with a stretch. If, if we could just use your performance, there's no need to keyframe animate it. Where you're, even your character's just sort of standing in the background, you do these great things where you're, you're moving and your hands are like that. If we can capture that, then we don't have to animate them. We can just take those and stick those into different scenes. <laughs> so should I start this just by walking this way? Yeah. Mostly it's a slow realization of what you got right. connected to. Yeah. First it's kind of an annoying, like you stepped in dog and you kind of... And then you realize what it is, and then you try to get away from it. Right. You try to run over here, and you're in. The, the, the cannon itself is not moving very far. SW Mancha, GBJJ 14A, take one. And action. All right, good. Okay, Jeff, you ready? So I'm going to be operating the sawzall underneath, okay. which, which vibrates the whole thing. Right, so when we start the shot, this should be going. <clears throat> or shaking. We just need like uh, two or three seconds of, of it doing that before, bang, fire the, fire the charge. And roll camera. Now, we're getting the, uh, the big shake here. Why was it working before? Try it a different way. So everybody ready to go otherwise? Yeah. I want to try the handshake approach. We've got a little bit of work to do ahead of us. Yeah, I know. <laughs> everybody here? Yeah. Everybody awake? Mm -hmm. Really? <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's do it. All right. A little just 
disjointed. It seems like a lot of short scenes. It's bold in terms of jerking people around, but I may have gone too far in a few places. In a space of about 90 seconds, you know, you go from lamenting the death of, you know, a hero to escape to slightly comedic with Jar Jar, you know, to mm -hmm. Anakin returning with his little kind of tag. It's a lot, and, and you know, it's a, and really, and it's a very short time. Uh, boggles the mind. I mean, I've thought about this quite a bit, and the tricky part is you almost can't take any of those pieces out of there now. Because no, each one kind of yeah, takes, takes you, you to the next place, the next and you can't, you can't Marty. jump because no, you, don't know, know, you don't know where you are. And you think about the very first Star Wars, Sitting in there. Yeah. No, I know. And it you starts open. I, you don't know what the hell. I, I do a particular kind of movie, which this is consistent, but it is a very hard movie to follow. And at the same time, I've done it a little more extremely than I've ever done in the past. It's stylistically designed to be that way, and you can't undo that. But we can diminish the effects of it. We can slow it down a little bit so that <clears throat> if it's intense for us, yeah, we don't know what. It is. You know, a regular person's going to go nuts. We'll start cracking again tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. Well, I think the color overall is working well. If you can just pull some of this yes. real rich oranges right up in here, then let's just concentrate on the wrinkles. Right. To me, just you give it the squint test, and it's the contrast between the eye and the lid is it's a really high contrast. Looking good. Actually, it looks really nice. So does that mean changing the model, or...? Uh... Is that the talus we're running through? We're close enough to the wall. But there's not much we can do to change the talus. Where's number two going to be? Number two, just poke it up through the cockpit. Go ahead and pull it back. Pull the camera. Speed! Fire! All right, see you guys tomorrow. All right, Sean. Hi, John. All right. On the pod race, we're doing an entire 10-minute sequence. All you're seeing are completely computer-generated landscapes, and it's, it's kind of a difficult thing to do. As it is in the picture, there's always something you're looking at in the foreground. It's not really <coughs> about the background, so. <laughs> but uh, I've you heard know, a speech before. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, no, no, but I mean, I, I think that the landscapes look pretty good. I think he's doing a remarkably good, good job. So, <laughs> so anyway, just so you see what. Uh, what the shots feel like with something in there, even though what's in there is, uh, is pretty temporary. Looks good to me. Uh, I've seen enough tests now that I'm, I'm comfortable that that's going to work. The pods look good. Well, they'll, they'll be better in their final forms. <laughs> Remember in the end, John. You're not looking at the background. You're not watching the pods. You're listening to the music. <laughs> yeah, because there's, there's a lot of clashing and banging and Ben Bird in there. Yeah. So. We're going between takes and stuff, it'll be hidden pretty well. The only concern that, I, that, that one might have is that you may want a version without the chorus, but I don't know if you even want to think of contemplating no, I that. love the chorus. It gives it that churchy... Yeah. Kind of well, and I think it's going to work... I mean, you didn't realize this, but it really goes into the third film very well, and it's... it's. I think it'll be an important thing to reprise. I mean, it has a... That definitely has the, the quality of the inevitable fate of doom you know, with larger hands at work. Okay. Chorus, um, one second, Sean. Oh, we have a pitch, please. And quiet with the pages. 33, one, two, sing. And see, see if we can 
have the sound less disturbed by still improved intonation. You'll hear a lot of beating in that. I will take it, please. 6M7, new, take 106. Yeah, this is where there's the big knock at the projection booth door with the umbrella handle. Young man, what do you think you're doing up there? You're gonna blast the orders out. I think it'd be reasonably extreme. You know, it goes just... from, even the pass-by shots go from oh, no I... sound to loudest yeah. sound you ever heard to no sound within the same uh, shot. Well, see what you can do with it and see okay. what happens. <laughs> ready, <laughs> set. Here. Mm -hmm. Your ears ready, kind of starts quietly. Mm -hmm. It's almost like this bulbous sound should be making go up and down, but it should always be there. Now it's there when you see it, it's not there when you don't. But you want to build that tension of the fact that it's right on his tail there. And if you don't hear it, you don't really get the sense that it's, it's right there all the time and it's going to eat him up. Yeah. You know, and if anything, that, that, that giant sound should be getting bigger and bigger during the whole thing as he's, you know, struggling to stay ahead of him. It's a nice rhythm. Because that's the thing that you're afraid of is the fact that that guy's just going to push him. Yeah. You know, the engine's gonna come right over and right into his head. It's come a long way over the last two years, that little sequence. It's not a little sequence anymore. <laughs> <laughs> The Phantom Menace opens at midnight. The place in the Star Wars line. We started lining up over a month ago. All right, get out your lightsabers. You just may have noticed that Star Wars, the latest episode, opens nationally at midnight tonight. The hype surrounding this movie has been overwhelming. Now the question is, will it deliver? They're about to open the doors here in just a few minutes, and people are revved up. Some 2.2 million Americans from New York to